Mr. Todd here. I'm just outside my front door. It's good for And I noticed on my front porch there's a uh, robin that's been busy, so I wanted to show you what she's been doing. I'm stepping up on the chair. She's got her little nest. We're going to take a look inside. Oh, look at that. Two beautiful little robin's eggs. And she's been sitting on it and probably pretty upset with me right now for being up here, but I'm going to get out of her way so she can come back and keep those warm because it's pretty cold today. There, we're going to check out the bird's nest that we saw the eggs in a few weeks, a couple weeks ago. See how they're doing. So we're going to look down in there and look at, there's four eggs now. There was two before. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Hi everybody. It's uh, Todd and I'm ready to uh, go up on my front porch and see if the mother bird is on her nest. So I'm going to sneak around the corner here and hopefully we'll get a look at her before she flies off. Can you see her up there? There she goes. Okay, she just flew off. Now I'm going to take a look inside the nest and see what we've got. Okay, here we go. I'm climbing up on the chair. This is dangerous. Look at that. Still four baby bird eggs in there. No hatchlings yet. So we'll keep watching and see what happens next. I'm on my front porch and I'm checking out the bird's nest that's up in the corner there. You can kind of see. Oh, I'm going to climb up here next to her. See what we got. Man. Okay. Look at that. We have little babies in there. Four of them. That's pretty wild. All right. Hi, everyone. It's Wednesday, May 6th, and I'm out here on my front porch again. And we've been watching this bird's nest for the last month. All right, so I'm going to climb up on the chair and take a look inside. So here we go. Look at that. Look at the birds. Look at that thing. Little baby. There's like... I can't even tell how many are in there. They got so big. A quick word from Matthew... 6 20. look at the birds of the air they do, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they can any one of you by worrying at a single hour to your life and uh, there's a lot to worry about these days but uh, these lessons from nature uh, are just incredible how Jesus used this in his teaching to remind people that God is watching over us. He cares about us. He meets our needs. And uh, we need not worry. We need not fear. Um, it's, it's hard sometimes, but I encourage you today to, to use the story of this bird and its care for its little ones to remind us how God watches over us and cares for each of us and provides for our needs as well. Do not worry. Uh, he's got us covered, and uh, we are in his hands. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.